channel SciTechCur. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Realme GT Neo 2 versus iQOO 7 device. Which phone is the best option to buy? So right now, during the Flipkart uh, Diwali sale, uh, there is an offer going on on the Realme GT Neo 2, which is a first sale promotion is going on on this phone basically and on the iQOO 7 device there's also a promotion going on in the iQOO website and even in the Amazon website as well but overall the final price of the iQOO 7 can come down to 2699 and Realme GT Neo 2 can come down to 25,499 and after this price I'm getting plenty of comments only on this topic so can I pick the iQOO 7 for 27,000 rupees or should I buy the Realme GT Neo 2 for 25,500 rupees? As you can see, 27,000 or 25,500. So first thing I'll try to uh, get the things very uh, straightforward. So there are few things which are really interesting on the Realme GT Neo 2 and few things which are good in the iQOO 7 device. Because I do, I have the iQOO 7 device which I can definitely say, say this kind of strong points which I can definitely feel which is really good in this device so first let's talk about the iQOO 7 device which are really good in this phone so there are two things which are really very very good in the iQOO 7 device which is the first is camera so it doesn't matter what type of uh, shots you take low light photography or outdoor photography and the stabilization and video recording is 4k 60 fps everything is really good in terms of the camera point of view if you want a phone which has got really good performance and really good camera then this is your phone iQOO 7 that's the one thing which i can definitely say that only for the camera purpose you can definitely choose the iQOO 7 device so i do have a lot of realme phones realme gt realme gt master realme x1 max and so many realme phones and doesn't matter what realme phone i choose the camera clarity looks kind of completely similar so it's kind of no use of to buy the realme gt neo 2 for the camera purpose but for the camera prefer the iQOO 7 device Regarding the performance segment, I don't know about the performance of the iQOO 7 device, it's completely kind of a beast and true monster but one thing is that I cannot estimate the performance of this one without using the device. So I cannot conclude, I cannot come into a conclusion itself because that's not fair. Without using the Realme GT Neo 2, I cannot come very soon. So um, if I get hands on this with this phone, I'll try to make a lot of comparisons. Then we'll be able to understand in terms of the performance segment. But right now the performance in the iQOO 7 device, it's really, really very good in terms of the performance. That's only the strongest point. Every phone has its own strongest point. Every phone, for example, Realme X1 Max, the strongest point is price because previously it offered for 25,000 rupees. Similarly, the iQOO 7 has got strongest point, which is a performance stable performance consistently you can actually get so i did not get any complaints on the iq sound device regarding one thing which is only the performance segment friends that's which i can definitely guarantee because list of the things there are a couple of things like uh, which are really good on the realme gt neo 2 the first main thing which i did like in the realme gt neo 2 is a battery which has got 5000 mAh of battery capacity this is the one which uh, which has the advantage in the realme gt neo 2 which i do feel addressing to you all so battery and the charging is the one of the best advantage phone can actually get charged within 36 minutes of time my iq7 takes about 33 minutes of time to charge 4400 mAh of battery capacity so you may get one hour more gameplay in the realme gt neo 2 which i can that that's what i can estimate only estimation i cannot guarantee but estimation one hour gameplay more you can do that on the realme gt neo 2 the battery segment is a one of the major uh, thing about the realme gt neo 2 and next is regarding the connectivity connectivity wise also the realme gt neo 2 has got eight 5g bands which is present in this phone i think only two 5g bands in this device that's also a major major uh, point to be noted in the realme gt neo 2 so in terms of the connectivity friends, I do feel the Realme phones, I mean Realme X and Max, Realme GT, they do have really good connectivity. That's what in my experience I did notice. So one more quick note which I thought of addressing to you all, main thing about the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 6, this phone also supported, no issues Wi-Fi 6, it's supported. But the transmit link speed of the 2.4 gigahertz is very low. I mean it's kind of close to 144 Mbps only the transmit link speed but the Realme X and Max, Realme GT, this Realme GT Neo 2 also will be having the 300 Mbps of transmit link speed in 2.4 GHz. So these are the few things which a lot of users they won't know until they buy it. So that means if you are having the Wi-Fi connection with a dual band always try to connect to the 5 GHz to have the better Wi-Fi speeds always. So if you try to connect to the 2.4 GHz you will have this little kind of slow speeds. So because of less transfer link speed which is present in the iQOO 7 device. So not only in the iQOO 7 device even in the other iQOO phones also I did notice same thing. But other Realme phones, Realme GT Master Edition, Realme X and Max, Realme GT, those phones they do have 3 anatomies of transfer link speed. So which I thought of just mentioning for you all. So connectivity and the battery, these two things are strongest point for the Realme GT Neo 2. And the price is also slightly less and you're getting more touch sampling rate also if you try to include these things. So if you want more battery and if you want more 5G bands, 
go for the realme gt neo 2 if you want the camera only and performance should be kind of both phones should be kind of good no issues then go for the iQOO sound device only for the camera this is a really good camera i did like the camera in the iQOO sound device to be frank yes i'm not kind of biased to the iQOO 7 i'm just trying to show you the facts what i've experienced with the past realme phones that's one thing so these are the two things you should definitely understand friends camera and performance iQOO sound device connectivity 5g 5g connectivity and wi-fi connectivity and battery realme gt neo 2 and also price also advantage in the realme gt neo 2 that's it friends thank you for watching this video Stay tuned for more updates on the price of the Realme GT Neo 2 because the price keeps on changing every time. It's not consistent. The offers and the exchange offers is not consistent. It keeps on changing. It did change three times. So make sure to follow my channel regularly. And these are the few things which I are just addressing to you all. And regarding the one more thing, the green tint problem I need to test on this device as soon as I get it. So make sure to stay tuned for this video. That's why I did not mention anything about the display advantages in this device unless I use it. So these are the things you should definitely understand. Cooling system also I need to do the testings. So thank you for watching this video friends. It's a quick clarity which I thought of just giving you all. So final thing is that camera iQOO 7 device and battery charging and 5G connectivity, Realme GT Neo 2 and also price. See you in the next video on the list of phone updates. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.